I just stole Rec Rap's base. But let me explain how we got here. A while back, I made a secret base in Rex base, which led him to build a secret base in my base. Or so he thought. Because here's the thing, I knew what he was up to the whole time. Well, most of the time. See, a couple weeks ago, I logged into Discord and saw that Wreck and Civ were recording together. I already knew that Civ was working on a project to build a secret base somewhere on the server, and I knew Wreck was probably looking for revenge after I built my secret base in the middle of his area. But I didn't have any evidence to back up my suspicions. The very next day though, I got a message from Civ that said, Hey Branzy, I need you for like 30 minutes at some point doing a challengey video. And I thought, sure, because I wanted to get a vibe of what these guys were up to. Now, this is a content creator server called Echo Crap. So it's not weird to get invited to do a collab from time to time, but it is weird when someone lies to your face. There. Oh, my boy, Wreck joined. Man, I haven't done a collab with Wreck in a hot second. I knew immediately something was up, but I kept my cool and played along. So we're gonna take one of your chests, preferably one with um, like some some random stuff in it, not just like like all stone or something. That would <laughs> kind of suck. Oh yeah, gotcha. Yeah, absolutely. T take your pick. <laughs> oh oh okay. Um yeah okay. But anyway, the point is we have to build a caricature that represents. Brands. You guys that have been around my channel for a while know that I'm not the best builder in the world, but when I do build. I try, especially if it's for a friend's collab. But this, this is like effort level one. Sorry, Siv, but I think we both just wanted to get to the point of whatever you were distracting me from here. And after Siv left, something caught my eye, or my ear. Someone was digging underneath me. I wonder who it could be. So I fired some warning rockets and flew away to get a better view and see if I could find where this little mole was burrowing in. And that's when I heard it. The explosion. No, I but I didn't want Wreck to scare off, so I played dumb. Real dumb. <laughs> is the world exploding or is it just me? And shortly after, something strange started happening. So phantoms just started appearing all over my little island over there, but I'm clear over here. So I wonder where Wreck is. But while Wreck was busy building his secret base, he was also falling for my plan. So the next day, I logged onto the server and took a look around and found this. Oh, and what do we have here? Oh, I heard a piston. Did anything move? Wait, wait, uh, no, uh, I saw it, I saw it, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. Push again, okay, down we go. There's a sign, what is it? LOL, gotcha. That little sucker. I decided to add a little fuel to this fire and make a community post asking you guys to keep an eye on these two, which you did an amazing job of doing, by the way, but I'll get to that in a minute because the moment I had been waiting for finally came. Hey, Branzy, can you help me with a video later today? Of course, I jumped at the opportunity, but I didn't want to seem desperate. I mean, he is a celebrity now, after all. Possibly? I have to leave around 6. Any time before that work, though? How about in 10 minutes? I'm free. Cool with me, dude. So, we met up, and you probably know exactly what he wanted to do. So, you built secret bases in my base, right? And so, I figured you're like the secret entrance expert now, right? And I thought it'd be funny, instead of like retaliating and like blowing up your base or something like people would normally do if i teamed up with you and we just ganged up on chief because he's your roommate right so what if we hid secret bases around here a little chiefy surprise okay i like a where little your head's cheapy at. surprise i like where your head's at i am the secret base master you're correct you came to the right place <laughs> okay okay Nothing okay gets past me and i am the one under your nose See, this is me, <laughs> under your nose. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Of course, at this point, we already know this is all a ruse. With a special guest, Sully. So it came as no surprise to walk into this conversation in proximity chat. I'm not saying a word. My lips are sealed. He's going to find out when he watches my video. <laughs> That's the whole purpose of this. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. <laughs> I just I just had to tell somebody, you know, you know. <laughs> we, we, I can I can see you at home like twitching, just waiting to tell somebody. <laughs> just going, I need to speak. <laughs> 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 or to stumble upon his redstone under Chief's house that he kind of thought was also mine. Which I had to cover up so he didn't catch on to me catching on to him 
this is getting complicated, but a favorite personal pastime of mine is playing mind games. So when Rex said, I have multiple secret bases all throughout here, Brandon. It needs work. <laughs> They're everywhere, but secret bases. I said, he tells me there's some truth to that joke. And when Rex said, I'm gonna put a name down here. What should we call this? I said, gotcha, sucker. And when Rex finally left, I said, he thinks I don't know. <laughs> And I know you're probably thinking, come on, Branzi, what's the plan? Well, the answer is simple. Be patient. And I was going to have to have a lot of it because I was about to go to Iceland for almost two weeks to get married, which didn't seem like the appropriate time to get on the Echo Craft server. Weird, right? But plotting my revenge? That's appropriate no matter the occasion. So while seeing beautiful once in a lifetime views, there was this little voice inside my head saying, We walked around the entire house and he didn't notice a thing. As well as a phenomenal amount of comment notifications from you guys letting me know the cat's out of the bag. Wreck and Civ's videos and shenanigans were public. But there was one huge problem. I was still thousands of miles and a week away before I could expose the truth and get my revenge. I had just gotten back from one of the most beautiful places in the world, married my best friend, my channel had grown 10,000 subscribers, but there was only one thing on my mind. Wreck rap. Oh, and revenge, of course. <laughs> Normally, when I'm plotting revenge, I get overwhelmed with options. Do I lure him into a trap and kill him in his own secret base? Nah, too messy. Do I build a secret base in his secret base in my base? No, too cheesy. But in this instance, the choice was simple. Steal Rex's entire base. How do we do it? Squatter's rights, which is basically legally stealing property. And it's devastatingly simple. Let's say that you claim some land for yourself. And after some time, someone else comes along and claims your land as theirs. You'd probably tell them to get lost, right? Well, what if you went on a long vacation and didn't know they were even there? Eventually, you'd come back and you'd kick them out, right? Enter squatter's rights. Since they've been squatting there long enough to call this place home, maybe hung some decorations around, make their bed in the morning, etc., and you didn't try to evict them in a reasonable amount of time, that land is theirs now. And if you're missing the connection here, I've been squatting at Rex's house for quite a while and he never tried to evict me. And Rex has been squatting at my place for a while and I never tried to evict him, which means technically, we both have squatter's rights on each other's areas. I guess you could say, Rec, what's yours is mine, and what's mine is yours. Or in other words, your base is mine, and my base is yours. Now, please don't think I take any joy in this situation. I mean, yes, I get this beautiful pyramid, this amazing village, this iconic copper house, all of it, mine. But I mean, just look at what I have to give up. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. <sighs> okay, first things first, we need to be a good former tenant and clean this place up. We definitely need to clean our ore out of this bubble. And what is this bubble, you ask? It's basically an investment scheme that Lagging Days came up with. I put ores in, and once a month, it earns interest. Simple, right? It's not. At all. What you do here is that you pay and 64 you a calcite bubble. or... All with my own contain the payments. And, uh, and every time I check your monthly balance, you know, that'll be is not a lot of diamonds. That'll be uh, not that much diamonds. Uh, if you um, have one of still, any, uh, one of each uh, thing, you'll just get double your interest in the next. And that's what I pay you. <laughs> uh, okay. And I just threw money at him to buy this bubble and pretend I had any idea what was going on because I was confused and uncomfortable and anyways. Besides the mystery bubble, let's be real, Tau Ore is just plain ugly and no future tenant is going to want that left on their property. So for now, I'll silk touch it down a little just to make it a little bit more appealing. <laughs> Perfect. Now that is a beautiful platform. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Wreck is going to love this way more than that gross tower, but I still need to gather all of my stuff up and move it to our new base. And the former tenant seems to have left all of his stuff here too. But since I'm such a nice server mate, I'll go ahead and get all of that moved over for him to his new place while I'm at it. 
this is a bad neighborhood. I'm kind of glad we're moving. Let's head over to Rex and get his stuff now. This neighborhood is, uh, it's way worse. Oh boy, okay, yeah, it's way, way worse. Are you the new neighbors? It's very rude. Okay, ah, no, please, okay, um, uh, I thought you'd bring like an upside down cake or something, not death. <sighs> okay, well, I saved all the villagers, but, uh, let's never ever tell Rek about that, okay? Anyways, here you can see I've got my humble little moving chest. What can I say? I like to travel light. And all the possessions of the former tenant, Mr. Rec Rap, have been moved to his new home. All of his items are in the same chest as before. His decorations are hung up. His little stations are all perfectly as they were. I've even brought over his little brewing area. Uh, I really hope Rec likes his new place. I'm really gonna miss you, Dirt Mound. And in order to protect our base here and make sure that nobody can take it from us, I made this, the deed to the copper house plus 100 spherical blocks, meaning that everything and anything in and around this base belongs to whoever holds this deed. So to make sure that nobody ever steals this base from me, I'm gonna have to keep this deed in my inventory at all times. Normally, I just put it in an ender chest to keep it safe, but if it's in an ender chest, then technically, nobody's holding the deed. It's kind of a risk, but it keeps everybody, including Wreck and anyone else that tries to steal the space from me, from doing so. I guess for now, I'll be getting settled in our new base here. I mean, it's not quite as good as what we had before, darn squatters rights, but it'll have to do for now. In the meantime, be sure to keep an eye on Rex's channel to see how he reacts to his new base. Oh, and uh, don't think I forgot about Siv, who's also just as guilty as Wreck. So let me know what you guys think we need to do to get even with him too. And as always, Tune in for the next one.